today on Dream Homes, it doesn't get any more West Coast than where we're standing right now. It's because we are literally standing on the West Coast. And this is the backyard of the first home on our Sea to Sky tour. Today on the show, we're checking out two fantastic West Coast homes. One is a multi-million dollar cabin in Whistler, and the other has incredible views, and well, this is the backyard. Yeah, you can go swimming anytime you want here. Do you want to go for a dip, or is it a bit too, cold, too cold? Today's episode really showcases how diverse our province is. First up is a house just outside of Vancouver. The area has such mild temperatures, you can basically go boating all year round. And our second house is just 90 minutes from Vancouver in Whistler, BC. And hey, if you can't live up there, it's also home to some of BC's finest accommodations. Chris Pope combined a passion for real estate and architecture into somewhat of a dream job. And this is one of his incredible listings. So we're in Horseshoe Bay, which is in West Vancouver. You are looking out at the Gulf Islands. Um, the setting is majestic. It is tranquil. It's quiet. And believe it or not, it's only 30 minutes away from downtown Vancouver. But once you get a better look at this house, you may find it hard to leave. It's a Mediterranean style home, uh, which was completely custom designed. It actually sits on a property that is over 16,000 square feet, and it's actually tiered so you can actually walk right down to the ocean's edge onto the natural rock outcroppings. This is world class. But this $14 million West Coast oasis isn't just stunning on the outside. The interior of the house is over 7,500 square feet. So you've got big open rooms, grand spaces, and, and the, the flow is very natural. So for entertaining, it's, it's a dream. Now, if you want a break from entertaining, you can enjoy some alone time in this room. There's a wonderful home theater as well. So you've got professional caliber, cinema quality sound and picture. So you can kind of relax, close the door and enjoy yourself. Now it's time to get a look inside. This is the kitchen. Wow, it's beautiful. First thing that I noticed was that rustic West Coast feel, but also a lot of elegance in this kitchen. Yeah, they've got the beams on the ceiling that sort of match all the millwork, which is specifically designed. They kind of uh, flow into those chandeliers, mm -hmm. and the chandeliers are sort of an elegant Venetian glass setup, and, and they go quite well with it with the sort of dark wood. It never hurts to have a little bling in the kitchen. Never hurts. <laughs> And let's talk about the sort of the point in the kitchen that your eye goes to first. Is that backsplash? It's, yeah, it's like a teal, it's a large feature wall backsplash. Those are mosaic tiles. They are meant to sort of pay homage to the, the sea and the ocean colors that go really, really nicely, I think, with the, with the dark wood uh, cabinets, which are, which are behind you as well, and integrated into the whole kitchen. There's a massive granite entertaining island that you can cook on top of and you can sit around and it's, it's a very, very open feel uh, for entertaining as well. Yeah, and I love that open concept. You've got the dining room table just sort of right by the kitchen mm -hmm. and both of these areas have that beautiful view. Mm -hmm. the, the beautiful view is everywhere. Every window in this house actually frames the view. It's just a very open uh, feel that allows for a lot of airflow and a lot of good energy. Yeah, positive energy, mm -hmm. even though it's a kitchen. Right? Just kidding. And nothing can cool that positive energy like Bianca burning dinner. Pretty much every cooking appliance that you can imagine is hidden behind us here. There's a wonderful Gagano induction range too, so it boils what water that do? lightning quick, like within seconds. Well, I'm not much of a cook, so as long as it boils water quickly, I'm sold. Uh, that's it, right? Uh -huh. In addition to this kitchen, there's actually a wok kitchen as well, which is actually really convenient for having bigger dinner parties if you're cooking yeah. heavier items uh, with, with a lot of sort of steam. You know what else is great about that? You can keep the mess in the wok kitchen. Absolutely. And then when your guests show up, everything is looking Absolutely. perfectly spick and span. Okay, well, I probably would just use the boil water feature, but I I have to say this space is so warm and inviting that I would probably spend a lot of time here. Well, that's wonderful. That was the idea. We've made our way into the great room, which is kind of separated by the living room with the TV area. You still have the beautiful views and then kind of the classier mm. area behind us. First thing I want to talk about is that huge painting. That's actually a yeah. hand painted mural and it's just meant to reflect nature in keeping with the theme of water and air and flow that is basically the design of this home. And it's very high up. Um, we have ultra high ceilings in the actual proper living room. And how high are these ceilings in here? These ceilings here, I believe are 10 feet 
with a 30 foot ceiling over in the living room area. I'm just a little bit under 10 feet, so right. it's actually a perfect yeah. height for me. I as remember. long as you're comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I'm comfortable. I don't, right, I don't think I'm gonna bang my head on right. those, uh, those nice beams up there. Right. Let's talk about the floors uh, sure. at the entranceway here. Yeah, so there's, there's three different types of marble cut and designed into a very specific pattern that's, I think, quite beautiful. And that continues on down the hallway and actually into the, the powder room as well. So okay. yeah, it's just visually striking and nice, captures your eyes as soon as you walk in before they're led to the windows. Let's talk about the view here. Again, that's what you see right away. Mm -hmm. Great patio out there and a very unique room as well. Yes, there's a dining area which is outside the living room, which is actually outdoor and indoors. The, the doors actually all fold back and collapse, so you can open up the experience to have an open air dining, or you can close it up and there's actually a, a fireplace there as well. Wow. So you can heat it in the winter time and, 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 and enjoy yourself. And I believe there's heaters on the roof as well. That so. is correct. We don't get too cold here on the west coast, but of course in the winter, mm -hmm. you know, you don't want to be eating outside. Yeah, and of course you're right on the water, so you're, you're getting, you know, wind coming off the sea, and, and yeah, definitely, definitely need to be able to keep warm. With incredible views like that, you have to enjoy them as much as possible. So for me, I'd be dining al fresco all year round. Well, the whole upstairs level is great. You've got the kitchen, you know, if you have a dinner party, you can hang around there. You can eat dinner here, go into the living room. And then of course you have the more formal living area, which probably shouldn't go in because I'll probably break something. No, you know what, Peter, you're invited anytime. Oh, wow. Well, thank you. I'll fly come back Saturday at six. Oh, perfect. See you then. Now, Chris, I don't think I've ever been in a home with two master bedrooms. Yeah, no, it is quite unique. Um, both are obviously very generous, large spaces facing the water again. So in each bedroom, you're, you're facing the beautiful view, big open spaces, nice high ceilings. So no, it's a very, very nice feature. Yeah, and the downstairs master bedroom, uh, again, has the view, like you said, lots of space and uh, a pretty incredible closet. That closet, it's an accordion system mm -hmm. and it's on tracks. So these are heavy duty tracks, you know, nice, nice, bulky, heavy, um, but yet very streamlined design and actually you can store a lot more in there uh, because of the unique design and the way it's engineered. And speaking of uh, great looking closets, the one in this master bedroom, I don't think I've ever seen a closet that's that funky. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, the millwork is, is again custom and it's got a geometric design pattern on it. Uh, beautiful blue. It's a nice pop of color in this more sort of dark wood master bedroom space. It's beautiful. the crown moldings and the glow that's right. coming from them. Yeah, so there, there's crown moldings everywhere in the home, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, but this is actually recessed lighting. So you can sort of play with the lighting a lot in here. You can, depending on the time of day and how much natural light is coming in, you can you can have a glow from the ceiling or, you know, just have everything quiet and tranquil and, and, and darkened. So Yeah, I nice. imagine if you have just this light going, it actually also creates a really calm mm -hmm. setting and you've got the nice rugged west coast to look out at. Mm -hmm. It's all about relaxation. The master bathroom is mm. gorgeous with yeah. that marble. Yeah, so that is a, an incredible feature. It's a banded marble that's been taken from a single slab. It's a very, very rare type of stone. Mm -hmm. And they've actually lined up the seams all around the shower, which is so hard to do and, and really incredible in terms of the look. A lot of work yep. has gone into this house. I mean, you've also got the intricate tile work again in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so again, sort of keeping with the theme that is found throughout the home, there's some mosaic tile work behind the mirrors. And it, it's a different sort of a pink color, vibrant again, which is very uplifting. and. Uh, uh, and that's what you want when you're sort of getting up in the morning and enjoying your spa sanctuary bathroom. That's right. And ladies, lots of natural light in that bathroom mm -hmm. because there's a huge skylight. Yeah, it's a great feature as well. Maybe a good thing or a bad thing, depending oh. on it. <laughs> Can't hide in there. It's also got a tub kind of right central in the room with beautiful views. Yeah, a tub that's freestanding, so very relaxing and, and faces directly at the waterfront view again, which is the ultimate way to relax. It is. And I love the outdoor space in this home. I think you're going to be checking that out now with Peter. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. We're standing outside by the pool. This piece of property has a lot going on outside. Take me through things. Okay, Peter, well, this is an incredible property. Obviously, you can see the majestic views. We're over 12,000 square feet. Wow. So a huge property that tears right down to the ocean. Uniquely, every bit of the exterior landscaping is usable. So you can walk right down to the ocean's edge and enjoy the best that the West Coast has to offer. And a lot of places where you see that, if it's built on a hill, it's hard to utilize the property. And they've really done a good job with that. Cause like you said, every space has been utilized, even the front. So you drive through, you pull in, what's it like in the front area? 
You drive down the cobblestone driveway, which is beautiful itself, but getting to the front door, I'm, I'm sure you noticed the massive, I'll call it, an intricate mosaic display. It's an artful display meant to reflect a Mediterranean villa. It took several months to complete and all the tiles were individually laid, so it's quite something. Very impressive, yeah. yeah I've never seen anything like that. Uh, a lot of work has gone in, and a lot of thought too. I noticed there's uh, bamboo out front as well. Yeah, mature bamboo that takes you around the edge of the property. It's just a wonderful, serene feel. You know, this is a Mediterranean style home as well. The homeowner has a general affection towards that style and has chosen everything on the property to reflect it very carefully. We have to talk about the beautiful views. You've got a pool, hot tub, mm -hmm. great place to hang out in the summer, I imagine. Absolutely, wonderful place to hang out. There's a pool right here embedded into the patio, which is a granite patio overlooking the ocean. It's incredible, waterfall hot tub. So they, they really have gone the extra mile with this home. It's incredible. Yeah, great place mm -hmm. for uh, spending a lot of time. And the nice thing is all year round, the seasons are always gonna be different. It's always gonna be changing. Mm -hmm. The views are spectacular. You have the, the mountains, you've got the ocean. There's always something to look at. Mm -hmm. You. I was going to say you almost don't need a TV, but please keep your TV, uh, keep watching TV, don't turn the channel, but it's like having the nature channel all the time. Absolutely. The, the view is ever changing. There's always something different happening and you're looking at the majesty of the Pacific Ocean. Unbelievable, beautiful surrounding. Let's go down to the ocean there. You basically have a, a private patio on the water. Again, if you don't want to hang out by the pool or if you're having a big party, you can go down there Absolutely. as well. It's almost like a natural sort of rock patio that is partly natural and, and partly made to look natural, but it jots right out into the ocean. It's an incredible place to be. It's great. You're only about half an hour away from downtown, but it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere. The ferries are close by, the highway, you can get to Whistler really quickly. I've got to ask you, now you have some great luxury properties for sale. Mm. You maybe do an open house. Do you ever maybe throw a little party on the side, uh, anything like that? Is, is that not allowed? Is that frowned upon? It would be wonderful to have a party here. As you can see, it's built for entertaining. Yeah. Um, I, I, we do keep showings here private, as per the request of the owners. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, that actually kind of ruins my next question. Oh, I'm sorry. My next question was, I was hoping to maybe get into like a staging business where my friends, we all come hang out here, have a party, and then you show the house and you get to feature what life would be like living here. Oh, like a party stager. A oh. party stager. Oh, okay. Is there such a thing? Interesting. Uh, hey, I'm all for that concept. So, you know, okay. well, maybe, maybe I can sell it to the homeowners. Maybe we'll go into business. Great idea. <laughs> yeah. Bianca, I love the fact that this house is so close to downtown Vancouver, about 30 minutes away, but if you look behind us, it feels like you're in the middle of nowhere. It really is beautiful out here, but I have to say I love those interiors, starting with the elegant chandeliers in the kitchen. The bedrooms are beautiful with those ornate closets, and I learned something new. Oh. So the glowing light coming from the crown moldings, that's recessed lighting. Oh, also my favorite subject in school. Now, Bianca, the convenient location of this being so close to the highway makes it very easy for us because we're heading up to Whistler to check out another beautiful home. After the break, we'll show you the inside of this multi-million dollar log cabin. Welcome back to Dream Homes. We've made our way up to Whistler, BC, and we're at a $5.5 million home that sits on six acres. This 5,000 square foot private estate is the ultimate luxury chalet in one of North America's premier ski destinations. And Bianca, it might not be snowing right now, but Whistler is beautiful all year round, especially here when it feels like you're in the middle of the forest. Yeah, and we may be in the middle of the forest, but we're only six kilometers away from Whistler Creekside. Quick access to shopping, food, and of course the mountains for skiing and snowboarding. And plenty of options for pubs for Apre, you know, the real reason people ski and snowboard. Rebecca Masser's family purchased this massive dream home in 2004, but it wasn't always this spectacular, and it was her father who put all the work into it. It was basically just a shell, and then he decided to redesign the whole place, and that's kind of how it came to be, and he worked for a long time to make it as amazing as it is. Whistler is home for Rebecca, but she doesn't get to live in this house, although she does get to spend a lot of time here with her family. 
All my family will all fly in and we'll all have Thanksgiving here and Christmas here and it's like a big family reunion every time they come here so it's really nice. We just love coming here for the snow and the snowboarding and especially the summers are amazing. The house is just minutes from the village, but it feels like it's in the middle of nowhere. Basically, we're in the middle of the forest, and I love it. It's actually on Alta Lake, and it's about a seven-minute drive to the village, and I just love that it. it's kind of secret here. It's not too close to the village, but we're close enough. I love the smell when you come in here. Like, it smells like cedar. It just feel like home here. I love it. And I think we're going to love it, too. We are standing in your beautiful kitchen, and I love that French country feel. Yeah, we love this kitchen. We've had so many awesome dinners in this kitchen. You've got custom cabinets. We've got custom cabinets, all forest green. Which really makes it kind of fit in with the cozy cabin yeah, feel of the house. Definitely. Looking around, I'm thinking this kitchen is a dream for any chef. Definitely. It has a six burner stove, and it has a large custom fridge, all Viking. So you've got the six burner stove, that custom built fridge, and a huge island to prepare food on with an outlet. Definitely. So I'm thinking you throw a blender on there, make some margaritas. For sure. <laughs> In my experience with custom designing kitchens, it's all about starting with the margarita station and then building everything around it. And everything is really nicely hidden too. I mean, you've got the big fridge, you've got all the appliances, but you can't see them right away. Yeah, exactly. My dad just really wanted something really clean looking, really beautiful and comfy and cozy and yeah, it just kind of turned out this way. You know, I like where your dad was going with this whole uh, area because you also have a huge window. We do, and in the mornings, it's beautiful. With the sun shining through and everything, it's so beautiful in the mornings. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a window that big. That's gotta be a couple of meters, definitely. <laughs> very unique room divider in this area. It's a bar. Yeah, so we actually have two bar fridges in there. I love it. It's a great idea because you can sort of see into the next room. You've got that open concept, but it's a nice little divider between this and what looks like a family room. Yeah, that's where we spend lots of our time watching TV and just spending some good family time. Mm -hmm. You can see movies in there. You can play games in yeah, there. Exactly. You know what, between that room, the nice little bar, two bar fridges and the kitchen, I could see why this would be the heart of the home. Definitely. <laughs> We made our way into your absolutely fantastic living room. There's a couple things I love about Whistler. Skiing, snowboarding, apres, mm. and hanging out after a long day of riding. Do you guys use the space for that? Oh, definitely, all the time. We have to talk about the huge fireplace. As soon as you walk in, that's the first thing that you notice, obviously, mm -hmm. all the stone, and you lit it. Tell me about it. Well, it's pretty easy to light. Self-lighting, just basically throw some wood in. <laughs> Throwing some wood, add a and flame. It goes right up. <laughs> fires up. And I imagine that you could put uh, quite a few ski boots on uh, the fireplace, oh, dry them yeah. off. After a big day on the hill, it's definitely a nice feature. This is probably one of my favorite spaces in the house. There's a lot going on in here. Obviously, you have all the wood throughout. I understand that you rent the space out. Mm -hmm. Do you ever sometimes come in to hang out as well? Yeah, I might have, had, I might have had a couple parties here. <laughs> couple of parties. Does it get rented out for uh, anything else? It does, actually. It's actually been rented out for a couple movies and shows. One called The Big Year with Owen Wilson. And then there was The Challenge on MTV. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And it was also rented out during the Olympics. The U.S. Olympic Committee. If these walls could talk, there'd be some good stories. For sure. I bet. Now, speaking <laughs> of walls, you have a bit of a half wall in between kind of the lounge area uh, and where we're standing right now. And what I noticed when I walked in is the fact that you could probably walk up there. Has that ever happened at a party? Mm, possibly. Possibly here and there. I don't know air. if I can tell you the truth of that. <laughs> some things are better left unsaid. <laughs> There's also a couple of tables in here. Tell me about these two tables we have. We have the dining room table. We've had so many awesome dinners there, catered and just family dinners. We also have a pool table, which I've definitely beaten a lot of my friends at pool at. It's a great space to hang out. Hey, if you have too many people, you can sit them around the uh, pool table and exactly. eat there. <laughs> 
Let's talk about this big chandelier up here. There's another one that's a little bit smaller in the other room. So they're both custom made to this house. They look like they have candles on, but obviously those are just real lights up yeah. there. But it, it kind of fills in the, the high ceilings and just ties everything mm -hmm. together. There's a lot of natural light coming in here. You can see all the greenery outside. Tell me a little bit about the stained glass. You painted that. I did. Wow. <laughs> you are a woman of many talents. I'm so impressed. <laughs> stained glass, playing pool, and having secret parties. There's a lot of things happening here. Rebecca, what I love about this beautiful, cozy master bedroom suite is, besides the fact that it's beautiful to stand here, it's also located on the main floor. Mm -hmm. It is. It's very convenient to go right to the kitchen in the morning. Or stumble into bed at night. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> so let's talk about this space. We've got the beautiful four-poster bed, nice fireplace, big screen TV, and those high ceilings. Definitely ties into the whole feel of the whole house. One of my favorite rooms of the house, for sure. Oh, yeah. If your dad's on here, I mean, yeah. what's stopping you from <laughs> staying in this bedroom, right? For sure. <laughs> but it is only one of of how many bedrooms in the house? One out of four. Four bedrooms in the house. So plenty of room if you've got people visiting, if you're entertaining. Definitely, yeah, for sure. Lots of room also in the big walk-in closet that's associated with this space. Tell me a bit about that room. It actually has a full-length mirror, it has two closets, it's massive. I love that other second mirror with the two lights because you could also put your makeup on there. Yeah. And if you look closely in the walk-in closet, you can see all the controls for the audio and visual throughout the entire house. That's a lot of control that I think I'd like to have. This master bedroom suite also has an incredible bathroom with a copper tub and two copper sinks. Usually you only see copper in the kitchen. Yes, those are beautiful. Something else that makes that space really unique is those uh, faucets. They're really interesting. They kind of have an industrial look to them. Yeah, definitely. It definitely ties into the whole house. But my favorite, favorite part is this steam shower. Very relaxing. Definitely my favorite. And if you're feeling relaxed after a soak in that beautiful tub, you can take a seat because that bathroom actually has yes. two very nice chairs. So whether you're putting on some makeup, maybe getting ready for the evening, you can just have a seat, relax, take in that beautiful space. There's actually a stained glass window right in between the two mirrors in the bathroom, so which is a really cool feature, I think. Another great feature. Yeah. I probably could spend hours in there. Definitely me too. <laughs> I think it's fair to say we have a bit of a theme going with the rooms we're checking out. We're here in the outdoor living room. Uh, do you spend a lot of time out here? Definitely. I love the fireplace out here and just sitting out here and warming up. Yeah, I guess winter time, you might want to be inside. Summertime <laughs> makes sense to be out here. <laughs> Gets a little bit cold, I imagine. But it's beautiful out here. You're surrounded by trees, both that keep the house up and the ones that are currently planted. Do you get a lot of wildlife? We do, actually. Sometimes we actually see a couple bears outside of our kitchen window and yeah, it's actually a pretty cool thing in the morning when you see them. <laughs> I bet, yeah. Well, I see some blackberry bushes, so yeah. I imagine they're coming over here. They're hungry. That's the beautiful thing about Whistler is, you know, it's a lot of fun to live here, but you're surrounded by nature, and, well, you get a lot of encounters with bears and other interesting animals Absolutely. and people. <laughs> This is a huge couch that you could probably seat, what, 20 people out here? Probably. So if it is a little cold, you don't want to hang out in this area, you have a hot tub as well? We do, definitely. And that's an awesome part of the house. So six people can fit in there. There's a nice fireplace that you can sit by while you're in the hot tub. And yeah, you can probably fit a few more people in there, but. <laughs> Again, going back to those parties we can't really talk about. I'm sure you've had a few more than uh, six people in the hot tub. Wow, that is an incredible backyard space. The fireplace, the hot tub. Rebecca, next time you have a party, call me. I'll be right over. Now, the couch on my patio is a little bit smaller than yours. Uh, where do you get a big couch like this? Well, to be honest, we've actually acquired a couple pieces in this house from different TV shows and a movie that was shot here. So this couch and the pool table was actually from the end TV show. Nice, so they're coming in, they're paying you to film in your house, and yeah. they're giving you free furniture. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> TV, you can come to my house and shoot anytime as long as you leave some high-end furniture as well. <laughs> Stay with us, we're not leaving just yet. After the break, we'll show you how to relax in Whistler. Today on Dream Home,
Palms, we saw two spectacular Sea to Sky homes. This oceanfront property with breathtaking views and a massive luxury estate in Whistler. And now we're going to show you how to get the ultimate Whistler experience without spending millions of dollars here at the Nita Lake Lodge. I think it's a very unique location in, in Whistler Creekside. We're right beside Nita Lake, which is beautiful. If you look outside, it makes you relax instantly. Located just five minutes from the heart of Whistler, Nita Lake Lodge is a quiet oasis with cozy suites. It has a beautiful architecture as well, um, using a lot of stone and wood combination, fireplaces, so it is very dreamy. And no Whistler getaway is complete without a trip to the spa. The spa at New Lake Lodge is a very comfortable, relaxing spa. We have a cozy lounge, a steam room, four treatment rooms, and uh, we also do some naturopath services. And it just wouldn't be polite to talk about Nita Lake's incredible spa without trying it out for ourselves. Today, Peter and Bianca are going to experience a Kundalini massage. Um, the Kundalini massage is quite special. It's more of a relaxation massage. I think it'd be perfect for Peter and Bianca. I think they have a stressful life, running around, talking to a lot of people every day, doing a lot of things. So I think they could use some relaxation time today at Nita. Peter, I am feeling so relaxed after that incredible massage here at Nita Lake Lodge. Bianca, it was a long day touring that beautiful five bedroom, $5.5 million house. It's exactly what we needed. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, if I was going to buy a second dream home, if I could, I'd definitely buy it here in Whistler. Yeah, Whistler is great all year round. Winter, you can ski and snowboard. Summertime is beautiful. You know, it's the perfect place for a weekend getaway. Yeah, and if you can't afford $5.5 .5 million, well, Nita Lake Lodge, another great option. Also, kind of a dream home, just temporarily. Yeah, but I don't think I'd take you with me next time. Yeah, that's fair. You're up, too? You have them. Yeah, you too. Just try it again, but try and do it. Yeah, not do it. Like, don't suck? Whole... When I sucked in the middle there, did you notice? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So close to downtown. 